Ronyo, manager, office of the Auditor General, public. It was one of the most highly anticipated probing by the Public Accounts Committee over the loss of the 9 billion Kenyan shillings at the National Youth Service NYS where more than 47 suspects are being remanded in custody. However, the anxiety by the members of the Public Accounts Committee were cut short following the cut and the mouse games and by the two principal secretary who failed to answer to the audit queries post. So, Chair, I would request, other than embarrassing ourselves further, that we adjourn this meeting. And yet there's a letter from him dated 12 February saying the matter is not resolved. Then we also need him here to answer those issues. Otherwise, we are all going around in circles. Mr. Chairman, I hear you, <laughs> but uh, some of the people who you would want to be here cannot be here because they are in custody. Uh, the two peers, Julius Muye and Safina Kwekwe, uh, could not account for the expenditure of the 1.9 billion Kenyan shillings and budgeted uh, for the year 2014-2015 financial year. The ministry spent Kenya shillings 1 billion, 964, 425, as transferred to other government un units which has not been budgeted for. This expenditure which ought to have been transferred to the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development was not transferred. Uh, the members of the committee came out with guns blazing, uh, lashing out at the manner in which uh, the principal secretaries were taking them in circles. I think you owe us an explanation. Spent but not budgeted for. What does that mean? Billion, billion sorry, 1.9 billion. We are not in a position to continue with this because we don't have access to that evidence. You know, you cannot actually uh, play the role of a conveyor belt. You can't just mechanically uh, uh, read as what has been provided to you. So maybe chairman, if he's given a chance, maybe he could withdraw the oath and let someone else what angered most of the members of the Public Accounts Committee was the failure of the two CSS Likariuki for health and her counterpart for public service youth and gender affairs Margaret Kobia to appear before them. Since we started like one and a half hours ago, we are just going into routes, into a circus. That whereas we have received some communication about the CSS, in my conclusion as a member of this committee, I can tell the people of Kenya that Madam Sisiri Karioki and Professor Kobia actually refused to come before this committee. Uh, this was not taken lightly even as the chairman of the team of Piondai uh, received a letter of the traveling clearance uh, from the executive office of the president allowing Karioki to travel abroad. Uh, the PAs were then asked uh, to leave and return when they are better prepared to face the committee. Go back and put your house in order. <laughs> It is said the money was lost uh, through fraudulent payments when the karaoke was the CS for Youth and Public Service. Uh, 47 NYA suspects are still remanded in custody after the court denied them bail application. Uh, the High Court will rule next Tuesday on whether the persons implicated in the 9 billion NYA scam will be released on bail. Uh, their lawyers renewed their fight saying that the decision to deny them bail was against their constitutional right. Among the suspects include Youth and Gender Affairs PS Lilian Omolo and former NOS Director General Richard Dumbai. They are to remain in custody until their trial ends. A corruption under the Jubilee government seems to be taking an ugly turn. By now what remains is whether the reminding of the 47 NYS key suspects in the loss of the 8 billion Kenyan shillings will serve as an example in the fight against graft in the country. A reporter for Ebro TV from Parliament Buildings, Nairobi, I'm Jeff Haimba.